What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today I got to show you guys three ways you can get better at talking without leaving your house. Especially during these trying times we are all enduring, I'm sure this is a plentiful, useful skill that we all want to work on. I know I do. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. This first exercise that I want to talk to you guys about is called free association. And what I want you guys to do is this. Every morning after you wake up, before you go to the toilet, before you take your breakfast, before you take a shower, you're gonna do the following. You're gonna take your phone, you're gonna open up your camera and you're gonna talk to the camera for 10 minutes in a plain stream of consciousness. It, at first it won't make much sense, but that's what we are aiming for. After you do this, let's say for a week, let's say you challenge yourself for a week. After you do this, you will notice immediate benefits and improvements. You will notice that your speech will have a lot less filler words, your thoughts are way more concise, and this is a way to practice daily journaling if you don't feel like writing a daily journal, like I mentioned in my journaling video where I used to do daily writings, but instead I found that it was more helpful to me if I do if I did it weekly and instead recorded daily an actual recording, audio recording on my phone of it. So if that sounds interesting guys, you should definitely give it a try. It's something it's something that you can do at home and, will, and trust me, it will bring you immediate benefits over a short period of time. And it's something, it's a skill that you can take for your everyday lives for when you get out of this quarantine. So you definitely should try it out. So this next exercise, it's called narration. And if you're like me and you have plenty of books sitting on your bookshelves, just collecting dust, how about giving those books some love and actually read through them, but not in the way that you're, that you're thinking. In this exercise, I want you guys to open up the book, choose a paragraph, just any paragraph of the book and actually narrate it in a loud voice, just as if you were recording an audiobook. If you're doing this, you, you choose just any book, you can pick any book you want and you narrate it and what, what will happen is that you will become more used to what it sounds like to be talking all the time or talking more frequently. You will become more used to your vocal apparatus and that is something that is crucial because as, as with any muscle, it needs practicing, it needs getting used to. You need to be in the know about how your body works and in this case how your voice works, how your vocal projection works, how your mouth works and the more you use it, the more you are in control of it and this will result in a more cohesive thought and a clearer pronunciation if that's what you're aiming for, at least that's what I am aiming for. So after I read a particular book, just plain, just normal reading in, um, in silence, I just pick a paragraph and, I'll, and I'm gonna narrate that paragraph and you can even record it yourself doing it and if you stack up these recordings over a period of time, you will see that you are getting better. And last but not least guys, this last exercise involves actually talking to another person. So let's say the following. If you're used to ordering food through Uber Eats or some other food app, instead of ordering through the app, think about ordering through the phone and actually calling the restaurant and ordering what you want more frequently. Or even if you're used to texting your friends or your family, how about giving them, giving them a call and actually talk to them for longer than uh, a text message, for example. Just push yourself to talk to people in the best way that you can. If you can talk to them in person because they're in isolation or something, give them a call, give them a video call through Messenger, through Skype, through Facebook, through anything you pretty much want, just so you can exercise that dialogue. You can even go even a step further and you can actually join chat rooms. For example, some of you may have gaming channels or Discord or something like that. How about joining these particular groups and just pretty much engage in conversation with strangers? Like that would be the best way to exercise your talking and speaking skills, especially if you're doing it in a foreign language and one that is not your native language. If you join these chat rooms of people that are, that are even native speakers of the language you're trying to learn, it's even more beneficial to you. Although you can even practice with a friend that is trying to learn the same language as you are trying to learn. This is a little bit more tricky, requires a little bit 
more stepping out of our comfort zones, but it's also the way that actually is more beneficial out of the whole uh, two that I mentioned earlier. But that does not uh, discourage the fact that you should try it out and actually implement those two ways in your everyday life. This is just my experience, this is just what has been helping me out and it has helped me a bunch. When I started even doing the sample recordings, when I wasn't even uploading to pretty much anywhere on the internet, I was so uncomfortable and that was because I wasn't used to seeing myself talk, I wasn't used to hearing myself talk and that is changing as time goes by. It just becomes more and more natural and I think you will find that yourself as well if you try this out. And that's it for me today, guys. I hope the content of this video was useful to you. Be sure to comment down below on your experiences and if this actually helped you or not. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this as I upload new videos every week on how you can improve yourself on every aspect of your life. So without further ado, I am Martin Shred and I'll see you guys on my next video.